Shalom, Rabbi Eric Solomon, Raleigh, North Carolina, from Beth Meyer Synagogue, so one morning Torah. All right, the Torah portion is Noah, Noah, most famous stories in the whole Torah, dealing with uh, the flood and destruction of the world. The world is corrupt, according to Torah, and Noah is going to save himself and his family and two of every creature, and they go on this boat, it's like many children's stories about it, and, um, and basically preserve themselves while the world is destroyed. And eventually they come back or the flood recedes. So eventually there's a, a bird that they throw off a, uh, a dove, comes back with a fig leaf, which is a sign of shalom and peace. And then the story is a very sweet story about, in a sense, sweet story. Although underneath it is a lot of power and devastation. You know, the world's corrupt. And in light of this corruption of the world, Noah, who's told, you know, the world's going down, decides to do nothing other, at least based on the shot of the reading, the simple reading, than just hide himself away and close himself on a boat, on an ark, a teva, and run away until it's over, basically. So the difference between Noah, and the rabbi teaches us, Noah and Abraham, Abraham Avinu, Abraham our father, is that Noah, when he sees the world's in devastation, destruction, terrible things are happening, he closes off, kind of gets quiet, and runs away. He saves himself, a few others, but really not the world. He stays quiet about what he sees. Abraham, on the other hand, in the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, which is also in the book of Genesis, sees problems in the world, but speaks out and tries to save it. This is the difference between these two kind of leaders and prophets. You know, there are people in the world, when they see difficulty happening, they close up, they save themselves, and they walk away and hide away. And others, when they see the world in destruction, they go out and try to save it and save others and let them know that there are problems happening, that even destruction is happening. Maybe the world is going to go down whether it's literally going down or maybe socially, spiritually, or morally going to go down. It's very important to bring this up in light of, sadly, the situation with uh, Ye or Kanye West. There's much to be said, but just for this TikTok, I will just simply say that some in the Jewish community, in light of anti-Semitism spewed by, for example, Kanye West, believe in order to protect ourselves, we should kind of stay quiet, you know, maybe say a little something, but mainly hide away, hide into our arcs, our tevas, <laughs> and float away and wait till it passes, see what destroys, whatever, and come back. And there are other of us like me who take the Abrahamic view, which is that the world is not going to change. You know, it, it, we could let it just be destroyed. It's our job is to speak up, speak out, to save and to be clear and to be rebuking not only Kanye, but others who sadly, I don't know, attach themselves to his hateful words and to call them out. That's our job. Really, we're the people of Abraham. We're actually not the people of Noah. And Noah, while he was called righteous in his generation, the reading is only in his generation, not for all time, not like Abraham, who was righteous for all generations. So our message is, if we want to be like the people of Abraham, speak out against injustice. Don't just climb, climb back into your arks. Shabbat shalom.